Ho ho, my hearties! A very good evening to you. Dinky doo, it's just me, Scotty McClue. I thought I'd pop up and see how you all are, have a bit of a catch up, find out what is what, and uh, see if you've got things to tell me, lots and lots of things to tell me, and I'll bet you have. So there you are. So spread the word, of course. Let everybody know that we are live right now. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten, and come on and have a bit of a shout out. And of course, make sure you share. It's all in the sharing. That's what it's all about. Excellent stuff. There's Gemma and Marie McCree watching. Dinky do, Gemma and Marie McCree. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome. Welcome to Scotty McClue's pop up just for you, Dinky do. Susan Forrest watching. Jeff Bernstein. Charles McLachlan or McLaughlin. What do you prefer, Charles? We need to chat about that. Mark Finley, Dinky Doo, wonderful chap. And uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty says, Jeff Bernstein. Yes, Jeff, lovely to have you with us. I hope you've had a good week, my boy, and uh, that you're ready for a wee bit of chit chat with your old chum, Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live. Kareem Zakaria, hello, Scotty. I hope you're well. Absolutely, Kareem. I was very sorry to hear about the passing of your grandfather, and I say, bless Bless him. You are so lucky to have known him. Hi, Scotty, says Gemma and her mum out at Condorit in central Scotland. Wonderful. Nick Baldy, dinky do. Andy McCrory, a very, very warm welcome to every single one of you. And uh, there's Rab Hill joining us as well. Fantastic. Everybody is getting the message. Shout out and share. All right, Scotty, how's things, says Rab. Dinky do, Rab. Scotty, have you still got your Labradors? John Robertson. I have John. He's coming up 13 in early October. So it'll be 13 in about a couple of weeks' time. So there you are. So a bit of a celebration. And um, he's uh, absolutely incredible, remarkable. Um, I hear you have golf clubs, says Louis Faber. No, we don't, Louis. So there you are. You're looking very smart, Scott, an example to us all. I thank you. I don't golf, Louis. So there you are. Vicky Navarro, how fantastic to see you. And dinky do. Do let that wonderful man know that Scotty McClue sends Dinky Doo to him as well, I say, down in Liverpool there. Hi, Scotty, looking good, says Lily Patterson. Thank you, Lily. Paige Arcutt, hello, I am new. Paige, you're very, very welcome. Happy birthday to your dog, Scotty. Thanks, John Robertson. I'll let you know when it is. Scotty McClue, such kind words. Thank you very much. Appreciated, says Kareem. Kareem, my dear fellow, not at all. Thank you for letting us know about that wonderful man. All right, big man, says Stephen Allen McFadgen. Absolutely, Stephen Allen McFadgen. And welcome, welcome, welcome back. Colin Menzies, dinky do. I said hiya and got patched, says Julie Shaw. Julie Shaw, I don't think anybody's ever got patched on here, particularly you. Your accents need major improvements, Louis Faber. My accents are outstanding. Across the globe, people come to Scotty McClue if they want a Geordie or a York person, or an Aberdonian, or a Glaswegian, or a Londonian, all that sort of stuff, so no, don't give me any of that nonsense. Uh, Peter Connolly, dinky do. Stephen Allen McFadden is laughing his he death. Fantastic. Danny Lewis says hello. Hello, Danny. Welcome to Scotty McClue's pop-up, just to say dinky do to all of you. Is this still available, says Joe Noble. It's available right now, Joe. And, uh, you know, you'll see videos of it during the week. So do enjoy yourself, I say. Come on and have a chit-chat with me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Hi, Scotty from South Queens Ferry, says Jason Connolly. Dink you do, Jason. What's happening in the night, Scotty, says Rab. Everything's happening, Rab. What a week we've had with the Brexit. Last week's pop-up was a bit dark. Incredible. But the lighting seems to be fine tonight, and I hope you're enjoying it. Is the lighting all right for you? Do say. I think it's very, very important. Apparently, all I needed to do was sit back a little bit, and it would have been absolutely perfect. Can we all get sharing and sharing and sharing as well? There's Vivian Scotson, Dinky Doo, 
Vivian. I hope all is well with you, that the singing is going well, because you have a fantastic voice. Billy Hayes, Aston Wright. Uh, so there you are. Aston Wright is shouting on you. Scotty, it was a scorcher today. I'm off to Glasgow shopping tomorrow. Any recommendations on where to eat? Oh, Jeff Bernstein. There are so many wonderful, wonderful places to eat in Glasgow. If you get into the city centre, the place is absolutely falling down with food. It's fantastic. Hi, Scotty. I'm feeling really low. Watching you will cheer me up, says Vivian. Vivian Scotson, absolutely now. Very important. You have so much talent. You must share that around and never, ever, ever give up. Never go without the belief in that talent, Vivian. I'm telling you, you're talking to the world's top broadcaster. You're talking to the first lord of the internet. You're talking to a man who sings, a man who plays, all that sort of thing. So there you are. So let me just tell you straight. You start to get up to the heights there. Let the sun shine back into your wonderful life and go for it. I can and I will. This is the moment and I am the one. Spread the word, I say. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. Scotty McClude just talking to Vivian there and saying dinky do. Gordon Stilling, is this Monday night? No, 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 Gordon, not yet. You'll have to wait. I know it's anticipating. You're a novel man for anticipating. No, not yet. So there you are. Just wait. So there you are. Hello from Greenock, says Jim Fanko. Greenock is such a stunningly beautiful part of the world, Jim Fanko. And you have shown us that with your wonderful, wonderful footage on YouTube. Dinky do get on to Jim Fanko on YouTube. Who are you, says Gerard Colmain. I am Scotty McClue, Gerard. Dinky do, and how do you do? Lovely to have you with us. I am the World Stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. How do you do? Good lad, Scotty, says Jim Schiavone. Vivian Scottson says, thank you. Not at all, Vivian. If anybody's going to make it, you are. Remember, you heard it here first. I have promoted huge, huge talent on my radio stations, and um, I uh, see no reason that there's anything in the way of you doing exactly what you want to do. So there you go. Uh, hello, sir. How's it going, says Connor Wells? Absolutely fantastic, Connor. The response that we've had is tremendous. Wonderful stuff. Brexit, is that not what a fat person does with a sit in a plastic chair? Very good, Rab. Now, did you tell us that wee joke before? I'm just wondering. Lang, may your mum reap, Scotty, says that your lum, I think you're meant to put in there, Lily Patterson. So there you go. Fantastic, that. I don't think she'd be too chuffed to hear that one. So there you go. But uh, a wee correction needed on Lily Patterson's post. Uh, David Wotherspoon's watching Thank you, do, David. Lovely to have you with us. A warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up. Uh, Max Jones, what we'll have to do with you, La, is give you a lifetime ban. Everybody say bye-bye to Max Jones. There we go. That's it. We'll never hear from him again. Alex Robertson, dinky do. I'm so glad to hear you. I wish you all the best, says Connor Wells. Connor, absolutely lovely to hear you as well. And dinky do, as we say in all the very, very finest of circles. Good evening, Scotty, says Alex Robertson. Good evening, Alex, one of our finest young actors. Dinky Dutio. Bye, says Connor. Bye, Connor. Take care of yourself. And Dinky Doo. So there we are. Connor's going, but that's a legit going. Gerard Colmain, watching from Ireland. You're very welcome. Are you watching from the south? Or are you watching from the north? You've got to tell us where are you watching from, Gerard Colmain, because we are big, big people about Ireland. Ireland. We love Ireland. Uh, keep going to say hello from Dumbarton, even though I moved to Pullman 13 years ago. Old habits die hard. Yes, the elephant tune there. Tremendous. Can you pop up at half past two on Sunday morning for Agnes? She's on early shift at the bakery. Gordon, you would be amazed what we can do and where we might be on Sunday morning at half past two in the morning. They are fantastic. Da, says Conrad. Ah, da yourself now. 
Lovely to have you with us and da to you. Excellent. Conrad Stone. Dinky do. Richie McCusker, come and join us. Lovely to have you with us. Sorry, Scotty, glad you got it right. Tell Mum sorry about that. No problem, Lily. And uh, Marianne Bryce. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Marianne. Dinky do for me. Scotty McClue to you. Mike McCabe's watching. Hello, Mike. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the shout out and share show on uh, this evening live big style here on Facebook live and uh, Northern Isle a small village called Ardglass in the county down the star of the county down I know Ardglass Gerard fantastic I've been all around the Emerald Isle and love every single nook and cranny of it Scotty, I'm going on holiday tomorrow with Scott Rail to Edinburgh, says Kieran Tui. Excellent. I hope you have a lovely time, a very fine um, way to travel. Mike and Ali are tuned in. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Mike and Ali. Martin Tierney, all right, Scotty. I'm eating tatties for my dinner, says Martin Tierney. Ooh, you can't beat a good tatty with your dinner, I say. All right, Scotty from Malik in usual, says um, Rick, Richie McCusker. Dinky do, Richie. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome to our pop-up, of course. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. 10 to 10 about Scotty McClue popping up just for you, the shout out and share show. That means you get a shout out and you share it. Fantastic. Scotty, I like tatties. You're quite right, John Robertson. I like tatties myself, as you can probably see. And uh, I quite like them in their deep fried version of chipped potatoes. You know, that sort of thing. Hi, Martin, says Vivian. Hi, Vivian. Dink, you do. You're back with us. That's fantastic. Not that you were aware. Anywhere. And I do hope that helps and that you will press on with all these wonderful things. Come and visit our glass, amazing golf course, only 15 minutes from Newcastle, County Down. Tremendous Gerard Colmain. I say top of the evening to you. And um, reply to Vivian, hi, says Martin, they are good. Everybody's having a good old chat on Scotty's pop up. That's what we like, dinky do. Excellent stuff. Tell us if you you're watching in Canada, in America, so there you are, North America, let us know. If you're watching in Australia, New Zealand, lovely to have you with us as well. Gavin Scott's watching. Thank you do, Gavin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Scott and Clue, here for you with the pop-up. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. John Hepburn is watching. Thank you do, John. And uh, a warm welcome. This is the way... Everybody in Facebook gets a chance to meet up and get together big style. And we like that. Gary Wilkinson. Hello, Gary. Welcome to the latest pop-up with me, Scotty McClue. Rab says, corn beef. Not corn beef. Corned, is it not? Or corn. Corn beef. Well, yes. Here's your tatties and beans. You can whack it. So there you are. Corn beef. Here's your tatties and beans. Hi, Scotty from Southern Ireland, says Kevin Kopit. Kopit or Kopite, Kevin, how do you like me to say your wonderful name from the Emerald Isle there, I see, and the Isle of Innisfree, and the Ring of Kerry, and all that sort of stuff is wonderful. Hi, Scotty, says Ned McMillan. Hello, Ned. Dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Hands across the sea to all our Irish brothers and sisters watching this pop up right now. Hands across the sea to all our Americans. Americans and our Canadians. So there we are. Lauren Davidson, Dinky Do. Uh, Carl Carlos Donnelly is watching. Dinky Do, Carl Carlos Donnelly. Always lovely to have you with us. Uh, Jeff Bernstein says it's going to be a, be a belter of a day tomorrow. What's your plans? I'm going to try and wash the car. Been wanting to get round to washing the car for three years. All right, my good sir, says Carl Carlos Darnley. Absolutely. Tony Mac, I love potatoes. I don't know if it's Gleska or Gleska in Totties in Edinburgh. It's Tatties. Or you can hook the Tatties. David Nagus, stinky do. I'm not sure my comments are getting through. I've commented a few times, says Julie Shaw. And we've said hello to you, Julie Shaw, a few times. So I'm not sure if our comments are getting through to you, Julie Shaw. Let me know if you got that one, Julie Shaw, and we'll say hi to Julie Shaw. 
So there we are. Hi, Scotty. Peter Lockwood says hi to all of you and dinky do to you, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue, just for you, saying dinky do. Scotty, fritters are also good, says John Robinson. Yes, the potato fritter. You used to get them in the chippy. I don't even get them in the chippy. Three years lol, says Kevin Kapite. Uh, hogs of five bunnets. What's in the menu tonight, Scotty? Some politics, surely, says Rudy Sachs. I have my hogs of five bonnet there. I don't think they would mind if I do an advert that Scotty McClue wears a hogs of five bonnet. You'll see it backwards. There you go there, guys. Have we got it? Fantastic. Hogs of five. Looking spectacular. How's that? Did you do, I say? There we are. Excellent stuff. Yes, three years since we did the car, so a bit of a carry on there, I have to say. What do we think of the hogs of five bunnets? Eh, not so keen on the potato waffle, So John Robertson. No. Now, we may as well discuss tonight how do we like our tatties. All right. Haggis and potato fritter. Lovely. David Stevens has just joined us. Dinky do, David. Lovely to have you with us from East Scotty McClure. Dave Humphrey is watching. Can we all share now? Everybody share. Loved you on the Nicky Campbell show years ago, pal. Says Richie McCullough. Yes, it's been doing the rounds again, that one. So uh, you'll probably see it pop up on Facebook Live occasionally. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. Thanks, Kareem, for that lovely picture of the maid of the loch. Hello, my good sir, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Hello, Carl Carlos Donnelly, and thank you do to you. I'm going to um, do a wee bit of sharing of my own, and if you can all do the same, that would be absolutely fantastic. That's a fine bonnet, says Jeff Bernstein. Absolutely. British tatties are European Union-derived tatties. Take your pick. Well, Britain is a landmass. There's no such country as Britain. It, uh, you know, makes me think, for goodness sake, when I hear everybody say the Britons. Tatties mashed with loads of butter. Scotty, have you ever met Kilroy? Well, Kilroy was here. Uh, love the fritters. Too many of them give you an upset. My goodness me. Sorry about that. That was a little ad. Thought it would pop up and interfere with our broadcast. No way. Unacceptable, I say. Right. What am I doing here? The shout out show. So there we go. And I shall just, what I'll do, I'll send this round every day so that you've got it wonderful. So we're just sharing there. And uh, I'm going to share to, well, I'll just share anyway. That's what I'll do. I'll just share. Excellent. Um, yes, that's what we'll do. Share your story. Share to your story. Yes, we'll share it to the story. Let everybody know we're here. I want some Scotty McClue merchandise, badges and stuff. Where did I see a Scotty McClue badge? And I was going to show it to you. It's fantastic because there is the Scotty McClue badge. What's your views on Boris and Brexit? Does Gerald come in? Well, oh my goodness. There's James Bowman. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Hello, James. That tie looks very Christmassy, Scotty, says David Niggis. Uh, Brexit, I don't think Brexit should actually be allowed to happen. I think it was a party political stunt that went horribly wrong. So there we are. That's what I think happened there. Now, let me get this shared, guys. Otherwise, we'll never get going. So we're sharing to a page. That's wonderful. And uh, if you can all do the same, that would be fantastic. I'll share to the Scotty McClue page. Good. And I'll just say, well, they'll know what it is. I know it's live and that'll let everybody see it. You can't beat healthy baked potatoes with salad. So they are a salad. Yes, we like a salad. Very, very good. We don't mind a salad. I can always tell you that. I'm just doing a bit more sharing. Scotty, this is John Robertson. Can you give a shout out to my wee dog, Nelson? He's had to have another paw removed. The vet says he's on his last legs. Oh, John. We Nelson. You know, great wee guy. Right, there you go. That's what we're talking about. Um, have we shared yet? Share to another page. Did we share that one? And uh, we're sharing to the group as well. Excellent stuff. Good. Just sharing, guys. 
I'll share to Dinky Doo. You know there's a Dinky Doo page as well. Can you all share? Brexit is a Scottish independence generator, says Rudy Sack. I think you're absolutely right, Rudy. I think everybody will want to do that. Cheers, Scotters, says John Robertson. Absolutely, John. Dinky Doo to you and to we Nelson, my goodness me, excellent stuff. There we are. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's going on, you what is this I am watching? You're watching Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E, M-C-C-L-U-E, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster these last 40 years, and dinky-doo to all of you, I say. Right, now, what else have we got here? Uh, more sharing, always time to share, I say, and let everybody know we're on. Brexit, a scandal. I'm ready to move to Scotland. They seem the best. Well, Gerard Colmain, that we've had this wonderful, wonderful government in Scotland for, oh, what, 12 years. Scotty, shout out to my girlfriend who's just beaten cancer, please. Much appreciated, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Not at all, Carl Carlos Donnelly. We send a strength to her and much love. Tell tent, tell tent, tell tent. Dinky you do, says Martin Park. Martin Park, very good of you. A uh, roast or baked potatoes, great. Yes, a roast tatty. Um, what do you think about the Loch Ness Monster? Carry on, Scotty. I think they're all F the nut. Not at all. The Loch Ness Monster. Fantastic. So there we go. And uh, do let us know what you think, of course. Very, very important. And lots and lots of sharing. Scotland has an amazing government, says uh, Gerard Colmain. I think so, Gerard. A very, very popular government. So there you are. I've never heard anybody say a word against the Scottish government. Fantastic. Uh, tell me, sir, what's the best way for the Supreme Court judging? Uh, well, I can't tell you about that, Rudy, because I can't comment about it at all, and neither should you. We leave that to the court. All right, and then we can talk afterwards. There we are. Jim Heron, dinky do from me, Scotty McClure. A pop-up just for you to see how everybody is. I hope you've all had a very, very good week and that you are enjoying life. Spread the word. Share, 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 share. A shout out and share show. Very, very important. Let's see if we can get the figures up there. Marvellous stuff. Now then, what else have we got here? I'm just doing as much sharing as possible. I'm just going to share to the group. Um, I'll share in a group, that's it, and we'll let everybody know what's going on here, if you can do the same. Honour the democratic vote, I say. Yeah, but Peter Lockwood, what you've got to remember, that wasn't actually all that democratic. So we're not honouring anything democratic. We'd be honouring something undemocratic, and that would be wrong. So they are plus coming out of the EU would be wrong. All right. So, Peter, you must take that on board. Remember that only about, uh, I can't remember, I think there was 33 million votes and there are seven, nearly 70 million people in the country. So what's democratic about that? So there you are. Such forward thinking and a caring government to the people of Scotland before anything else. Absolutely big style. Yes. Anthony Doherty is watching. Dinky do, Anthony. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome, you see. So that can't be um, democratic. Proroguing Parliament can't be democratic. That wasn't a very democratic thing to try and force something through that's undeliverable. You know, uh, thanks for that comment. We really appreciate it, Scotty. Says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Not at all, Carl Carlos Donnelly. Strength with capital letters to uh, your dear lady and your good self. That's what I say. Uh, the sooner Scotland's independent, we're on our own, the better. Well, we'll never be on our own, Tony Mac, because we've got the wonderful EU backing us up there. 28 countries and um, a trading block of 510 million people with huge clout. So we don't want to be coming out of that, I can tell you. And anybody who is a Brexiteer is being worked from the back. 
Um, I'm not a political guy, but when uh, you've got Trump and Boris, it's a laugh, says Rab Hill. Well, I'm glad you find them funny, Rab. So there you are. Different strokes for different folks, I always say. Uh, that's what I always say. Now then, what do we got here? I'll just share this again. Oh, wonderful stuff. What group am I sharing it to? Oh, I'll share it to the Scotty McClue group. Yes, I hope you're all members of the Scotty McClue fan group. So there we are. None of us are political. I mean, I'm an apolitical guy. But I have to stand by what is right. And that referendum was certainly not right. Scotty, when's the radio show on, says John Robertson? 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night, 96.3 on the FM in central Scotland, Nation Radio Scotland, or www.nationradio.scot. Uh, they're all after their nuts, says Rab. That's right, Rab. Everybody's out of step, but we're jock. Have you heard that one before? I'll explain that one to you. Just doing a bit of sharing here. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. Get the numbers up every day. Can we have a share, please, right now? A massive share right now. Um, when did I come on? Who can remember? Goodness sake. Uh, God silly, Scotty McClue, can you ban the foul-mouthed lot, please? It's Sunday night. No, no, it's not Sunday night, Gordon. Not yet. You're anticipating, but I will ban the foul-mouthed lot. Uh, we live in dangerous times where countries are drifting further to the right. Situations creep up of countries and can deteriorate very, very quickly. Yes, but a bit of common sense will probably prevail and I think we'll end up remaining in the EU more or less. It would take a long, 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 long time, maybe 10, 12 years to actually unpick all the wonderful things that we've put together over 50 years. We're all Jock Tamsons wins, says Rab. Well, that's right, Rab. Uh, I agree we still need to be part of the EU, but we need to be free of Westminster. Yes, well, Westminster hasn't been particularly kind to Scotland over the last 300 and odd years. What was it? 312 years. So, I mean, Scotland managed fine as an independent country, but it did hit a bit of a dangerous bit, and it had to unite. We go back to being on three nights again, Scotty, on the radio, says Julie Shaw. Um, I don't know, Julie, that's up to the big bosses. Are we ready? One, two, big bosses. So there we are, the big bosses, and we'll see what happens there. Fantastic. Who knows, though, Julie? Could be great stuff. Uh, I'm just saying I've got this group here doing a bit of sharing. Scotty McClure, just for you. They are wonderful. Thank you very much. And um, share to a group. I'm just going to share. Here we go. Share on the timeline. I'll share on the timeline to let everybody know we're actually on, guys. That's bound to be a help. Agnes specializes in well-fired roles. Black on the outside, but beautiful on the inside. Fantastic stuff. Uh, you've been around uh, on around 25 minutes, Scotty, says the wonderful Susan Forrest down in Lancashire, the Adinky Do Susan. Lovely to have you with us. Mwah! Always excellent. A long standing fan of Scotty McClue from the days on Red Rose Radio. Anybody remember Scotty McClue on Red Rose Radio just for you, Dinky Do? Scotty, sing us a short song. What I'll do, Carl Carlos Donnelly, I'll sing you a wee song. I'll sing you the goodbye song before we go. So excellent stuff, wonderful. And uh, you can let us know what's what. Alan Hall, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure saying Dinky Doo, just for you. Wonderful. Now then, have I shared that? Did that share? Let me see. I'll have to... Uh, Click again and see what's what. Um, Janet McCallion has joined us. Thank you. Do. How do you think the UK's mainstream media will cover Scotland's next referendum? Well, Rudy Sack, they were very, very poor because they're not owned by Scottish people. You see, these newspapers in Scotland used to be owned by Scots. So there you go. But if you go to YouTube and put in Scotty McClue on independence, you'll get all the facts there. So there we are. So I don't know, but remember that newspaper circulation is absolutely plummeting. 
So um, there you go. Dinky do, Scotty, says Susan. Dinky do, Susan. Lovely to have you with us, I say. We can send you a half loaf, although it may appear to be a full loaf. I know what you mean, Gordon. You're very generous at your bakery. We sip of water. Mm. Oh, that's lush. Tremendous. You can't beat a half loaf. Is your glass half full or half empty, Gordon? That's what I always wonder. So there we go. Now then, did that share, I ask you? Here we go. Marvellous. And uh, share to the page. Excellent. That's what we want. It should let you know. So I'll just... Start this one off again. Marvellous. Sorry, I'm looking to the side. It must appear very rude. But um, there we go. Now, what else have we got here? Um, Gordon Sterling, you're a man. These bus seats, were they genuine leather in the old Root Masters? Do tell. I think you're needing to spill and let us know what is what, Gordon Sterling. Very, very important. Uh, Danny McNeil's joined us. Thank you, Danny McNeil. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome, welcome. And when did the um, Gardener Diesels... When do they stop putting the gardeners in the buses? I want to know. And which particular bus had the gardener? I want to know. So spill Gordon Sterling. Don't be coming on with empty banter when we want to hear what is what exactly what is what Gordon Sterling. So none of your nonsense there, I say. I'm just checking what's happening here with the sharing. And I hope everybody else is doing the same. Rab Hill, Dinky Doo. Paul Crookshanks, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live just for you with our pop-up, our evening pop-up. Tremendous. Paul Crookshanks, Dinky Doo, Scotty. Dinky Doo, Paul Crookshanks. Always good to have you with us. Fantastic. And if everyone can keep sharing and sharing and sharing, and come on and get your shout out from me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, just for you, Dinky Doo. Uh, Aidan Quinn, Dinky Doo. Excellent stuff. Say Aidan Quinn is solid. So there you are. I take it Aidan Quinn is solid means Aidan Quinn is sound. Remember we used to use that one. Do you still have that one about? Oh, sound. Absolutely sound. Sound is a pound. So there we are. So we've said that. So there you are. Yeah, we got that, Aidan. I think we've said it now. So there you are. So you should have that message. Dinky doo from Scotty McClue with a pop up. Just for you. Excellent stuff. Now then, I'm carrying on uh, just with the sharing because it is a share and shout out. Fantastic stuff. You're the greatest broadcaster ever, Scotty, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. I don't know about that, Carl Carlos Donnelly, but I do know that this is the future of television. I think a lot of mainstream broadcasters will wake up one morning and find that their core business has gone. You know, um, and I know people don't believe me, but they should listen to the Algin. Uh, ain't heard your wee blouse in ages, says Stephen Allen McFedron. No, I know, but lovely to have you with us. Uh, Vivian Scotson, Lorraine Scotson, I'm just tagging my sister Scotty. She's due a baby any day now. Excellent, Vivian. And we send her strength for the wean, for the wee one. Wonderful. There we are. Good. Right, that's gone on to the Scotty McClue fan group. So all of you become members of the Scotty McClue fan group. And of course, get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. So you just put in Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. There's about 600 video and audio pieces for you there. Tremendous stuff. So never, ever, ever feel that you can't get access to Scotty McClue because it's all there live on YouTube just for you. Fantastic. And I'll be popping up live 
on YouTube later as well. So go on and subscribe. Keith Wotherspoon's watching, think you do. If you were an English teacher, you'd get nothing talked about all night for correcting the spelling on here, says Rudy Sack. Absolutely. You'd put, if you're an English teacher, you'd put SP beside it. Spelling. We need you back on TV, sir. So it's Carl Carlos Stanley. Yes, I think the television companies need to get their act together and realize that what I'm doing right now, I may not be an oil painting, but what I'm doing right now is the future of television. So if I was popping up, say on a Friday night, like tonight, 11 o'clock, Scotty McClure show live. We do this and we interact live on television. Would you watch that on a commercial television channel or on a public service broadcast channel? You know, I think they should do that. I mean, there's, there's channels open up, no names, no pack drill, and they've got virtually nobody watching. Now you think when I popped up on radio, so not video, radio, uh, you know, almost quarter of a million people per half hour came and joined me. Now, that's good. Now, if you imagine that multiplied several times because it's television, you're getting it now. Ding, you do. The penny's dropping. So there you are. So I do think that, yes, Scotty McClure should be doing a lot more television, a lot more film, a lot more movie work. But I think that will come. So there you are. And when somebody says, yeah, but your, your voice is wonderful, Scotty, but your appearance, I mean, my goodness. Can I say to you, this is what I look like. I won't be changing it, all right? If you've got a problem with Scotty McClue, that's your problem. Dinky do. Uh, I was asked why I love radio. You greatly inspired me in radio. And I ask you why radio is important. Radio is important, Tony, because you can listen to it anywhere. That's really rule one. It's also very, very easy to do. It's a chair and a microphone, and I've got by on many an occasion without the chair. You should rattle into that Strictly Come Dancing, Scotty. Scotty McClue. We need you, McClue, on the telly every night, but try not to clash with On the Buses. On the Buses, fantastic they are. Poor Olive and Arthur, who else did we have? Yes, Scotty, you're fab, says Vivian Scotson. Vivian Scotson, you say the nicest things. I thank you, but you are the fab one. Now take it from one who knows. Yes, so you get up uh, later tonight or you stand up and you say, do you know what? This is the moment and I am the one. Do you know what? I can and I will. All right, Vivian, that's for you. Dinky do. That's somebody who's been in showbiz for almost 50 years. Uh, Scotty, say dinky do to Pauline and Andy, first time listeners. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says Paul Cruikshanks. Pauline and Andy, welcome, welcome to the World's Top broadcast on the World's Top streaming channel, Facebook Live. Dinky do. So there we are. Rap Hill, Dinky Do. So there you are. Yes, Blakey was on the buses. Now, Blakey was the wonderful uh, Stephen. Oh, he's sadly no longer with us. Stephen, you're so sweet. I'm so exhausted just now, but I promise I'll try in the next few days. No, you're maxed out, Vivian. Take your time and recover. So there you are. <clears throat> I don't know if you're back in the Central Belt or you're up north or whatever, but uh, just try and get a few days. Um, try and get a few hours. Scotty McClure, are you on radio tonight at 10 p.m.? Says Stephen Milton. No, Stephen. Sunday night, 10 p.m. We gave the radio station back the Friday and Saturday for their club nights, which is fair enough. I say, fair enough. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. So there you go, Vivian. You just need to get a wee bit of a break and um, then get on and do your stuff. And don't change your wonderful style. You know, I used to be a massive, massive fan of the Corries. The Corries, to me, are just outstanding. And they brought all these buses on. Stephen, 
on the buses. Yes, there you are. That's right, Blakey. Yes, Stephen was his first name, but what was his second name? Uh, I'm in Ayrshire a few days, so I'll try. Ayrshire, very, very good for you. And tomorrow is beautiful, so just walk about, say to yourself, today is beautiful, and I am beautiful. And I sing like a linty. Now, do you know what a linty is? I'll tell you in a wee minute. Everyone know what a linty is? Rudy Zach says, what about a special Christmas Day addressing from you rather than having to listen to yon wee woman that tries to scupper Scotland's independence? Rudy Zach, I wouldn't read too much into that story, right? Because I don't really believe any of that. I am a great one for yon wee woman. I think she is fantastic. Stephen Lewis, that's it, guys. Carl Carlos Donnelly was first. Gordon Sterling was second. Jim Fanka was third. Stephen Lewis, Stephen Lewis, Stephen Lewis. Well done, boys. A dinky do, I say, from Scotty McClure. Right, more sharing, more sharing. Need to do more sharing. Oh, wonderful. And uh, can everybody share right now and do a bit of typity type, tapity tap. I am watching Scotty McClue, the new big style. Right, wait till I get onto this. Hang on. Now then, right, I'll just send this round. Share with all your groups and all your people, guys. Very, very important. There we go. I'm just about to uh, do a bit of sharing now. There you go. Excellent. And people will know that is live. Andy Simpson's watching. Thank you, dear Andy. A very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you. And guys, share to your groups as well. Whatever groups you're in, share this broadcast right now. Say, I'm watching Scotty McClure. Jim Fanko was on the buses for 18 years myself. Do you remember, Jim, if you're a Green Oaky and a Green Oak man from the Green Oak tree, do you remember the, uh, the big route master Buses, the Western SMT garage out to Inch Green, and the big Routemaster buses going to, I think they went from, uh, oh, I think they went from Paisley to Largs and all that stuff, and you could get one down to Ashton and to Midton and to Trumpet Hill, all that sort of stuff. Fantastic. Where else in Green did we used to see that? And um, it was on the front. The driver wound up the names of all the places it was going to. And they used to come from the Inch Green bus station in Greenock. Tremendous, wonderful, out at the Inch Green dry dock there. <coughs> Do you think the media in Scotland's heavily biased by Westminster? We need more local media. I think, um, I don't think it's Westminster that causes any bias, but I just think that the media, Pauline Court also appeared on the buses, says Gordon Stirling, aha, uh -huh. excellent stuff, Buns Square, says Jim Fanker. Now, am I right in thinking Buns Square? Was that along at the end of the town, Buns Square? I always wondered. Where Bunsen had just said Bun Square on it. That's right. You know, it used to say that. And um, I always wondered where that actually was. Another one was Ashton, and another one was Midton. Fantastic. And Gurek. Sometimes they just had Gurek. Oh, no, McEnroy's Point. There was one to McEnroy's Point. So there you are. I can remember that, the big Western SMTs. And you could jump on at the back. You could run and catch a bus. You know, you used to go, you used to see ladies coming out when they'd finished doing their work. Man, Margaret, we're going to miss that bus hen. And they would run for it. Larkfield behind the IBM. That's right, Jim Franco. How fantastic. So if any Grenokians are watching right now, dinky do to all of you. I couldn't possibly share to my friends. Then they'd know I have a wee bit of taste. After all, says Rudy Zach, they would think he watches Scotty McClure on Facebook Live on a Friday night dinking too. Tremendous. How long have I been on here? <clears throat> Who could tell me? I don't want to overplay my hand. McEnroy's Point, just across the water from our Danoon. You're right, Rudy Zach. Yes. That was McEnroy's Point. In fact, that's where the ferry goes from. Now, from McEnroy's Point to Hunter's Key. Greenock buses, the brake linings, <laughs> used to catch fire. The town was so hilly. It is all hills, Gordon. And I remember a gentleman ringing the phone in. And we're talking about the Gardener Diesel. 
What was in it? Was it a 6LXB or a 4LXB? What was the engine, Gordon? Come on, you need to fess up. Give us a bit of information. This is a chance for you to shine, Gordon Sterling. I know you shine a lot in your wonderful life, but this is a, a chance to shine. Um, wait a minute, where am I going? Sharing a group. Tremendous. I mean, put this on. Have you enjoyed the watch parties? Have you been watching the pop-ups, the Scotty McClue watch parties? Wonderful. Yes, Greena is a very hilly town. And I remember going to a wedding down in Gloucestershire, uh, near to, what was the place called? Tetbury. And I remember a girl telling me that you tended to burn out a lot of clutches and cars because of the wee hills up and down in Gloucestershire, near Tetbury. Shine like the sun, says it is sack. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to share here. Facebook, there you go. Fantastic, right? We're sharing now. Uh, and get the numbers up. Come on, everybody, share, share, share. Share, 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 share. 45 minutes is a wonderful Susan. Thank you so much, Susan. What an excellent timekeeper you are, if I may say. A 6LXB. They were bomb-proof, says Gordon Sterling. Yes, the 6LXB. Now, I don't know, most of you will be too young to remember the televising of the funeral of Sir Winston Churchill. In January 1965, or was it 64? No, it was 65. I'm pretty sure it was 1965, January 65, when Sir Winston Churchill's funeral. And the state of the tide just happened to be that they were able to take the um, old warrior's body. His coffin went on board one of the... Um, Oh, uh, Port of London Authority launches the Haven Goer. Uh, hi, Scotty, I'm back in the car, in the car sales. I was just in when this pop-up started. So I had to get my chicken thighs out of the oven, as I've had all day, as all, as all I've had all day is a salesman lunch, a salesman's lunch of crisps, bar of chocolate, and soup and a pudding. And a can of juice. Peter Conley, we need to stop living like this in this country. We need to stop for an hour for lunch. I'll tell you about that. Anyway, I'm talking about Sir Winston Churchill's funeral here. I'm talking to Gordon Sterling. And um, Sir Winston Churchill's funeral. Now, the BBC had Richard Dimbleby commentating. And I think ITV had... Uh, Richard Burton, with that beautiful, rich actor's voice, Sir Richard Burton. And, uh, oh, he wasn't Sir Richard, was he Sir Richard Burton? Richard Burton, anyway, can't remember. So there we are, Sir Richard Burton. But what I loved about it, the Haven Gore was built at Tufts of Teddington in 1956. A beautiful, beautiful launch. She's just been restored. And I believe you can actually hire out the Haven Gore for lunches and parties and things like that, conferences. So there we are. So look her up, Haven Gore, H-A-V-E-N-G-O-R-E, -E, and uh, Thames Launch. And she used to be the launch for the hydrographers to go and get married measurements to see that everything was all right. So Haven Gore will be a part of the River Thames. Anyway, she, as far as I remember, had two Gardener 8 LXBs in her. Hello, pal. Hope you had a good day, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, do. So she's got these two Gardeners in her. And if you listen back to a recording, to a, I think it's ITV's recording of the funeral of Sir Winston Churchill. When they go down, Susan Forrest says, I remember Churchill's funeral. My parents made us watch it. Absolutely, Susan. You'd just be a wee lassie. Uh, you'd just be about five or something like that. Four, maybe. Uh, so there you go. And um, anyway, so they had all that. I can send Peter a few well-fired rolls and a dome luncheon meat. <laughs> says Gordon Sterling. What's a dome luncheon meat? Anyway, if you listen to the ITV recording, while they're waiting to take Sir Winston on board, you can hear, and as they take him down to the riverside, you can hear boom, 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 
these beautiful old gardeners ticking over. What do you think uh, <coughs> about, uh, and it mentions a store. Can't discuss that, Stephen, because you mentioned a store. That would be appreciated, Gordon. So there you are, says Peter Conley. Peter Conley is taking up on your offer of uh, luncheon meat and some of Agnes's well-fired rolls, Gordon. Tremendous stuff. There you go. Right. What's happening? More sharing. Come on, everybody. Need to get the numbers up. Uh, excellent stuff. I'll just share again in another group. Wonderful. And then we'll get a watch party going afterwards. And if you haven't been able to see it at the start, then you'll be able to pick up another group. So wonderful, wonderful. Right. Good. Now, uh, that's that. And share. Good. Share, 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 share. So, does anybody remember that? Can anybody else remember that recording? <coughs> oh, dear. Time for some water. Oh, it's a big recording this, you know. It's not just for the faint-hearted. So uh, that would be appreciated, says Gordon. Stephen, I'll not put that comment up if you don't mind. There you go, because as I say, you mentioned a business, and we can't actually discuss a business's business. Uh, nearly five, nearly five, five hours, five minutes, five minutes to go. Signing off, Scotty, got a train to drive at 530 Zero five thirty says Jim Franco. Have a good night. Have a good night, Jim. Bless you and dink you do. Love to everybody in Greenock and Port Glasgow and Gurok and Carwell Bay <laughs> and, and Skelmerley and Weems Bay and all these wonderful places. Have you ever thought about acting, Scotty? Well, Rudy Zach, believe it or not, I am an actor. And with that in mind, I have received some very, very good news this week, just the day before yesterday. Um, sure thing, I didn't think till I wrote it, perhaps I should have rephrased it. Not at all, Stephen. It's just one of these things. The six LXB acoustics are just sublime, says Gordon Sterling. Absolutely. But what about the eight LXB? Are they more sublime, or is the six the absolute full bit, if you know what I mean? There I go. I had to choose my words there carefully, Gordon Stilling. Did you like that? I think that's marvellous. There's uh, Abdullah Muhammad Isa. Hi, Scott. Hello, Abdullah Muhammad Isa. Lovely to have you with us. Peace be upon the Prophet Muhammad to you and Salam. So there we are. Wonderful. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. There we are. Right, spread the word, guys. Time for a share. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Would you like a tune on the accordion? Oh, it's time I was away. How long, how long have I got to go? When should I be away? When have you all had enough? I say, peace, brother, says Randolph Jack Deal Jr. Randolph Jack Deal, a lovely to have you from the United States of America. Tremendous stuff. Right, guys, I've got this wee chat for you. Oh, I've got the box for you. There it goes, see? So I might be able to give you a wee tune. Excellent. Now, it's the nuances that make this show great. <laughs>
Did you like that? Reaching for you, dinky doo. It's 9.23 pounds, says Thomas Hamilton. It's time McClue was away. I say thank you to every single one of you. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous, fabulous week. Thank you, Susan Forrest. Mwah! She loves the tune. There we are. Do we all know what it was? Have a think about that and tell us next time we're good. Sounds good, says Randolph Jack Deal in the United States. Peter Conley says, the great Hector Nickel once said, somebody told him if you stand at the Clyde between Erskine and Port Glasgow, you can see Dumbarton Rock. I stood there for three hours and it never moved. Boom, boom, chee. I want that end song. Good stuff, Scotty, says Moira, Chico, Chico's mum. Have a good weekend. I'll try and get through to a nation radio on Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp. Good night, pal. Good night, everybody. I'll sing you the goodbye song. <clears throat> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Good night from Ireland. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A Vitor Zane, au revoir, and a cheerio. Love you guys. Dinky-doo. Mwah. Woo.